The other advantage that you get is what's called appreciation. So you, you bought the $200,000 house and you're living there, and let's say you live there for 10 years. Well, you get the tax savings on that money that you're paying towards the interest of the mortgage every year, but also um, at, you can sell that property at any time. And the, the real estate market has a history on average of, of properties going up between two to four to six percent uh, return every year. There's different seasons of the market, but generally real estate prop prices go up um, depending on the area and those decisions that you made when you purchased the property. Is it in a good school district? Was there a, uh, a big factory that was built across the street? Those things could hurt your, your property value. But let's say that property went up and now 10 years later, you're selling the property for $250,000. You've been paying down your mortgage, so maybe now the value that you owe is 170, and you're selling the property for 250. After all of the closing costs that you pay, you could walk away with a check for $50,000 in your hand um, that you got from appreciation of that property. If you rented the property, you don't get any of that appreciation. So there's there's advantages of purchasing a home. You get the the deduction on your taxes from the mortgage interest that you pay, from the interest that you pay, and you also get the value there of potential uh, appreciation. You also could think about having that property as something that you want to use as a rental property. So let's say you're living in that property for, for five years and you, you moved in there with, uh, as a couple with one kid and now you have three kids and the property, it, it, house is no longer able to adequately hold your three kids, dog, cat, and the amount of stuff that you've accumulated over the years, and you need a bigger place. So you, you find another house, and you've been able to save that 20% for a down payment now because you're moved up in income and been disciplined about saving, and you purchase a new property. And now you have your existing property that you could choose to sell or you could choose to rent it out. And when you rent it out, you want to rent it out higher than what your mortgage payment is for more than your mortgage payment. And also want to build in there um, some type of an allowance for repairs that will be needed because a renter is not going to take care of the property the same way that you as the owner take care of the property. They, they may be very nice people. They may say, oh, yes, we'll take care of the property. But owners and renters take care of properties differently. So you could rent out this property and you want to rent it out for more than your existing mortgage payment is. And you also want to uh, allow some allowance in there for needed repairs that are going to happen over time. So let's say your mortgage payment we mentioned was $1,000 and you rent out the property for $1,400. So every month when that $1,400 comes in, you pay the mortgage and, and then you have $400 surplus that you should put into a separate account to help you uh, for repairs that are needed for the property and, and have that prepared for that to happen because it will.